Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading and this will be for Libra for the 18th to the 24th of October 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. Mm -hmm. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It's not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, like what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Weirdly enough, I have this with one of the other signs. Um, I get this like pain in my ear, like I'm blocked in just in my left ear. I haven't had this with, I've had, I have this from one other sign, which is weird. I've had this with one other sign today and I'm not sure which one it was. I don't know which one it was, but I haven't, I don't have an ear problem, but for some reason I'm, I'm an empath and I feel like someone's, I don't know, it feels like I've got something wrong with my left ear or it's blocked, I can't really hear all that well. So whether somebody's got an ear issue, first of all, I've got to put that out there. Right, okay, let's move on. Libra. <clears throat> Oops. They want to jump out, I swear they all want to jump out. We must have a lot going on, Libra. Okay. I feel like I want to stop there. Okay. Interesting. I didn't see that till now. Okay. First of all, I want to tell you what's on the bottom. And I need to explain a little bit. First of all, I've noticed there's quite a few pentacles on the complete table right now. Um, so your pentacles are all about creation, they're all about material resources, they're all about stability. Um, so they're all in reverse. Every single one of them is in reverse for a start. So whether you don't have a lot of money, material resources, stability, something like that, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards. So pretty much half, just like, just under half, are all pentacles. In re Oh, actually, there's another one. Sorry, I didn't see that. Seven. So seven out of 13 cards are all pentacles. Yeah. So over half of your reading so far is due to you either not having money or material resources or stability, um, something like that. <clears throat> First thing I've noticed. Okay, so the first thing I want to say, and I didn't notice this at the time, you've got the king and the queen of pentacles, in reverse on the bottom so <clears throat> that's a pair that is a divine counterpart you the king and the queen king and queen of whatever suit as long as they're the same suit you're a divine counterpart now it's in reverse both of them are in reverse meaning it's either a karmic situation or if cards that are in reverse mean that you need to do work on you that's for me that's how i read them not all readers probably i don't know what other readers do but um when i read in reverse it means that there's work you need to do that's the first thing i want to say you both may also have 
zero money or lack of money, lack of funds, lack of material resources, lack of stability. But like if you're a karmic, that's one thing. But if you're maybe you both need to just do the work on different work on yourselves so that you can then be a divine counterpart. If one was up and one was down, it means that the person that most suited that particular one being down would need to be doing the work on themselves. <clears throat> but in your case, <clears throat> you're both in reverse. So there's work that you both need to do. Now, <clears throat> I do want to say the king of um pentacles is generally somebody who as i said is bad with money as well doesn't have that financial security and, and prosperity it's like this person for every like everything seems to just not work out for them and it's like all they seem to have is bad luck but at the same time I feel like this person has an issue because they expect a lot of things. Like the, there's a word that came up in one of the other readings before where they they expect that they have money. They expect, you know, like they don't want to put in the work, but they expect that they should be successful and be, you know, like what I don't know what the word is, but um yeah, they have that. And, you know, maybe maybe work on getting a job and getting some money and that kind of thing if you're not already. Could also signify a player for some people as well. Not everybody, but for some. Now, the queen of um, pentacles in reverse is also about working on your financial independence. But it can also mean that you need to look after yourself. There might be some, you know, work-home conflict for some people, but it's a lot about working... Um, like working on yourself, like I said. Um, okay, that's the first ones. Now, somebody left you out in the cold or you feel like someone left you out in the cold, um, but it's like recovering from that. So if you, in the case that you did have some financial loss for the king and the queen, whoever this is, it's like whichever one you are, it's like, you're recovering from that. So maybe you got a job. Maybe there is going to be a job come in and, you know, you're going to recover. You're going to, you know, have that revival. You're not going to, you know, be destitute any longer. You are going to have some money because you're going to go get a job. Like I said, you're transforming. I feel like you're doing the work. There's things that, like, you've hit rock bottom and I feel like you... Um, you need to transform different parts of you to become who you're meant to be. And, you know, I feel like you're a good person, but you may have had a lot of issues. And there's things that you need to deal with so that you can become the best version of you, right, for somebody else and for yourself. So I feel like whether, you know, with the tower card, whether it's like um, something happened and maybe you just had a revelation that, you know what, I need to change things, you know, like, so I can have a successful relationship, so I can have, be happy in myself, I need to get a job, I need to quit doing negative things, I need to, you know, whatever, 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 right, you have a list of things you need to be doing. And this is you doing that, maybe you just got a revelation to do that, or maybe you actually hit rock bottom, you know, Maybe you had some upheaval, you've had some um, awakening, you had to move out of your house, whatever this is, because you couldn't afford to pay the rent or whatever this is, right? So you went from, you got a job, so you're transforming. You That's one thing that you're going to be doing. You're transforming to become a better version of you, right? Great. Now, that will also help because... I feel like with the um, Knight of Pentacles, 
which was also money, you felt like you were stuck, as I said. You felt like you were at a standstill because you couldn't change anything. You couldn't make it better. At the same time, I feel like you're irresponsible and careless with money because it's in reverse. Maybe you gamble your money away. Maybe you buy shit you don't need. Maybe, um, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's like you spend it on alcohol or whatever, right? You're irresponsible and careless with your money because pentacles and they're in reverse. It's not going to help you unless, once again, you transform. And I feel like you doing all this transformation is also going to bring either your relationship closer or it's going to bring someone new, if you're single, into your life. Um, but you're definitely having this sort of awakening. And you may get a new home as well. Maybe because some of you didn't have home. Maybe you lost your home due to not having a job. I don't know, whatever it is for you, right? Okay, on the table, what are we up to? Oh, 11-11, maybe Googling. I mean, 11-11, I think it's on you're on the right track or new beginnings or I don't know, something. Anyway, Google that, angel number 11-11. Now, you've also got on the table the five of cups in reverse. So the five of cups in reverse is about moving on. It's about having hope again. And as I said, maybe you, the fact you got a job, you know, you um, previously you've, you've been one of these people where Things didn't turn out the way you hoped all the time. You felt like, poor me, victim mode. Things didn't work out. I deserve better. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever, right? But things didn't turn out for a reason. Things in life don't turn out for a reason. There's also the karma rule. You know, like, you put out, you get what you put out, right? So if you're pretending to be a good person and on the inside you're beating your wife at home you know you're not gonna what you put out you get back so you're gonna get shit if you are a great person in the public eye and great person at home you choose who you choose to be you are only responsible for you and your behavior and your actions and if you have an anger problem or you have an addiction or you have a no job or whatever make it happen make a change do whatever you need to whether you're an alcoholic a drug user um, a psychopath or whatever you are I'm just exaggerating there but whatever you are you can you choosing to be who you are you know what if I didn't have a job, if you really want a job, you'll apply for hundreds a day. You'll apply for whatever and wherever you need to drive to or catch a train to or a bus to or whatever, walk to, ride a bike to. If you really want to get it, you will. You really want to make it happen, you will. So stop procrastinating. Actually, we fuck, far out, I meant to say. Weirdly, last night I had a conversation about procrastinating and like I'm one of these people, we are talking about it last night, I'm one of these people that likes to just do it. Like if I sit there and procrastinate, I just won't do it. I'm not a procrastinator. Like I'll think of something like my YouTube, right? I was saying last night I wanted to do YouTube and like for years, you know, like, you know, my dad um, would say to me, you know, you need to... Do YouTube, like, you know, you, you like cards, why don't you do something like that? You're good at it. And I was like, oh, nah, like I was really had no self-confidence and I, you know, didn't want to. And I mean, I wanted to, obviously, but like I didn't want to look like a, you know, a fall on, on YouTube. And um, he ended up saying to me, like, you know, you should, you should put yourself out there, give it a go. What, what, you know, and in the end, this one day I was talking to my friend and I went, you know what, I really want to, like, the time was right. And I wanted to do YouTube. I had no confidence, but I went, you know what, I'm just going to do it. Because if I don't, I'm going to just keep on procrastinating. Yeah, I procrastinate for a little while while I consider things, get things, whatever. But once I do it, I do it. 
and the same as other things in my life like I I've organized equipment or whatever I needed at that time as soon as I got it I start because if I don't I won't so things that I'm really really passionate about and really want to do I will find a way um, and in this case you know I started a YouTube and I mean it's taking a while but you know what if I can help one person that's what I'm here for you know what I'm saying like I would love to be successful and and maybe I am even if I only have 670 subscribers right now like I am successful for myself and I'm sure my dad in heaven is or wherever he is 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 proud of me so you know like you know, I chose to do that and it's telling me that you need to stop procrastinating. If you want to make things happen, you will. Right, let's, anyway, let's move on and get some cards. Sorry, I talked about myself for a second. Um, so yeah, things haven't turned out. Let's get some more cards. Libra. I'm not sure why I told you all that, but anyway. Maybe because you weren't manifesting what it is you actually want. You're manifesting what you don't want. Um, and, I mean, it's made you feel down anyway. And when you feel down, like, you've got to raise your vibration to attract what it is you want. And if you're feeling down, you're not going to do that. Um, so maybe you've got some untapped talents that you haven't considered. Or, you know, there's something, as I said, that you aren't making a plan for because you're, you're poor planning. You're not... You're procrastinating and that's what I heard in my head is that you're procrastinating which is explaining why I explained all that stuff to you I feel like you are one of these people that this is what you've had for a while you've had conflict and defeat like you know as I said which is why you have the victim mode you play the victim a lot but once again you can only change you right so if you're not happy in a situation where you don't have a job or you're not happy in a situation because you don't have your own house, whatever. Do what you have to. Make a plan, step by step, what you need to do, and do it. Don't procrastinate. The end, this is a spiritual lesson for you in the end. Like, that's what you need to know. You know, you need to know that um, everything you go through, whether it's conflict, confusion, you know, whatever this is, it's like, your if you don't do something it's because you choose not to and because maybe you don't have the confidence to do it like you have these self-limiting beliefs about yourself like you know you're no good or whatever you know what give it a go because you might be two of wands in reverse you know as i said lack of planning what is it you need to do to be successful to get what it is you want you fear the unknown you're impatient and you've got inner conflict, but at the same time, you've got, you have these personal goals. Now, let's just say you want to get a job. What steps do I need to do to do that? I need to apply for as many jobs as I can for a start. Go on, apply to seek. Every day, apply for as many jobs as you can, or at least make a plan. At least 10 jobs a day, 20 jobs a day, whatever it is for you. Make a plan. You know, maybe do some study if that's what you need to do. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, make a plan for things. Now, both of them, you got the Five of Swords and you got the Five of Swords in reverse. You have past resentment. Maybe because you were defeated in the past. Maybe because you had lost in the past. Maybe because you didn't do what it was you wanted to do in the past. I don't know. But you've got to stop playing the victim. Like, that's what I'm hearing. You have to stop playing the victim. Because, you know, it's causing, all of this is causing you to be an aggressive person. It's causing you to be hostile. It's causing, um, you know, conflict with other people. You might become violent. Like, you need to sort your shit out. Because if you're happier in yourself, you'll be happier in yourself. You'll be happier in your own situ other situations. You know what I mean? Like, so only you can change that. You know, maybe there's things you need to work on. Maybe, I don't know. But whatever it is, make the steps. Right. You've got eight of pentacles and you've got the emperor in reverse. You need to take back power in your own life. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, accept the leadership role. Have structure. Have discipline. Make the list. 
I need to apply for 20 jobs. And then no matter what it is, apply for 20 jobs. If you apply for more, good on you. If you don't, apply for a couple more until you get to 20 a day. Whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, But don't sit there and be like, poor me, poor me, while I'm sitting on the couch watching TV. Take action. Stop procrastinating. Make it happen. If you haven't applied for a job in three weeks, make it happen. If you haven't applied for a job yesterday, make it happen. I don't care whether you only want to do it once a week. Apply for 100 jobs in that one day. Whatever it is, don't be lazy. Make it happen. That's all I'm saying. So maybe once again, you want to maybe go do something where um, maybe you want to learn something or, you know, at the same time, I feel like you got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and so you need to take back power with the Emperor. But with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like in reverse, somebody has no ambition. They also are too focused on one area of their life. So maybe there's things that like they're too focused on spending money than actually earning it. Could be that. Maybe you need to look at studying. Maybe you need to look at doing something to help. As I said, make a plan. But take back leadership in your own life because, you know, you've got the emperor in reverse. Like, this is excessive control. This is lack of discipline. You know, you know that you want to get a job in this example, but you're lazy. You're not, you're, in, you're not, um, like you have no discipline. You, you're not one of these people that will just sit there and apply for 20 jobs per day because that's what, I mean, I used to write a book. And apply for like when I lived in Melbourne, I would apply for like as many jobs as I could. I had a book full of jobs that I applied for. And then someone rang me one day and said, oh, would you, you know, we're ringing about this job. She didn't say where she was from. And she just said, I'm ringing about the admin job you applied for. Now, I applied, once again, for a book about this thick of jobs. Oh, sorry, where were you from? And I'd look and try and find where the job was and what I needed to know about that particular job because I applied for so many, I couldn't know what I needed to know for that particular company. So I was that, like, organised. I would write, you know, like I need to have good phone manner or blah, 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 whatever, right? And she wouldn't tell me where she was from. And then she said I'm unprofessional because I didn't know... What job, I said to her, do you know how many jobs I apply for? Because I'm not just looking for your one company. I'm looking for a hundred jobs a day. I mean, in Melbourne, you can get a lot of jobs per day, right? So I was applying for as many as I could because I just moved there and I needed to find a job. So once again, you want to do something, you will. Be more organized, be disciplined, like, you know, I think you've learned more about me in this YouTube video than anyone has. Libra. Way too many. Okay. So I feel like, as I said, you with the tower in reverse. I've, I mean, I've already, I'm sure this came up before. Um, the town reverse. This is about you needing to do some work on you, right? You fearing the change, but you're trying to avert a disaster. So like say say you had no money because you had no job, right? You've now lost your house because you don't have a job and you have no money to pay for the rent or whatever, right? So say that that's the case. Now you're trying to avert that. You're trying to find a way to not lose your house. You're trying to find a way to survive without needing a job you know you're trying to do whatever you 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 need to do to avoid that disaster but unfortunately things happen when they're meant to and things will happen i mean you can only avoid it for so long if you don't pay the rent you're going to be kicked out you know what i'm saying so but here you need to withdraw you need to i guess do some soul searching and introspection and maybe you need to really figure out what it is you want like you need to I mean, also, I'm hearing you're not alone. I don't, I'm not sure why I'm hearing that. 
Like, I feel like you're not alone in this situation. Like, you have people you can talk to. You have people in your life, right? Trust your intuition about that. You have inner strength, you know. You're trying to you're trying to take a shortcut. You're trying to, for some of you, delay the inevitable. But as I said, like you don't pay your rent, you know, you're gonna kick, get kicked out. It's just the way things work. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, like you're a very confident person and or you or someone is very confident, you know, uh, attracts a lot of people, very, um, you know, uh, there's somebody who I feel like this is not you because this person is somebody who takes action. This is somebody who's very decisive, is very, has a lot of courage, a lot of strength. They, no matter how many times they've been kicked, they've got right back up. And I feel like, I feel like they're a woman of action or somebody of act, like, um, yeah. They have a lot of pride they in themselves. They um, are a very independent, de, de, you know, um, decisive kind of person. I'm trying to think of what I'm thinking. Unfortunately, what I'm seeing is this person needs to detach from somebody who is like the devil. Now, this person has addictions. They have obsessions. They, with the death in reverse, it's like they need to do, oh, the death is not in reverse, sorry. The devil in reverse. It's like they have a lot of, this person has a lot of dark thoughts and as well. Like I just feel like you need to detach from somebody like that. This person like is very positive and Normally, this person, not so much. This person has issues that they need to deal with. And I feel like if they're not careful and they don't deal with these things, it's not going to end well for them. Like, I feel like this is one energy and this is the other energy. So if you're a person with addictions and person that doesn't have the, and has those really dark thoughts and, you know, possibly has, whether addictions are drugs, sex, money, alcohol, gambling, smoking, um, codependency, uh, whatever this is, right? You have these addictions, that's you. If the, Then this is your person. And I'm telling you, it's not going to end well if you don't make a change. Now, you think that you're going to have this happy ending with this person. And that's why I described the situation before because, as I said, it's going to end if you don't make a change. It's like five cards all saying the same thing. But there also needs to be a death to the negative thinking and to the procrastinating and the playing the victim. And there needs to be a death to that. There needs to be a death to your old ways and become who you should be, want to be, transform to who you want to be, that kind of situation. Now, as I said, if this hasn't already happened, this ending may have already happened. It may not have, right? Somebody may see someone as just having no drive, no success in their life. They've got nothing to show for being alive for how many years they've been alive for. You know, because that's what they have. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They have a lot of this person being you in this situation, has a lot of misfortune. You're lazy. You're not taking responsibility for your life. You expect things to come to you. You expect to have money, but you don't do anything to actually do anything about it. 
You want to take a shortcut. You want to win the lotto. You want to gamble your money away and try and get something. I'm telling you, stop taking a shortcut or trying to take a shortcut and go and get a job. That's what that means. Right? You're not going to have the happy family life with stability if you have a breakup. And you've already possibly either had one or you're going to have one. But it's like, this is you now uh, releasing the pain and forgiving and becoming more optimistic. You've got to stop the negative self-talk. And as I said, whether it's an ending of the past ways or whether it's an ending of this relationship, you choose. That's, that's pretty much what I'm hearing. Because at the moment, you've got nothing to offer somebody. And as I said, this person wants a firm foundation. They don't want conflict and defeat. They will just move on. But, okay, clarity about your situation. I feel like you feel like there's obstacles. You're not taking back your own power um, either. Like, I just feel like you need to have some inner clarity. And I feel like you need to realize, look, like we all have obstacles in our life for everything that we go through. You need to work through the obstacles. Make a plan and do it. And, you know, make, I mean, you can't make an employer give you a job. All you can do is apply for more. Or if you need to go and study something new, Go and study something new that will get you a job. If you not have, don't have a cover letter, maybe make one because maybe you need to have a cover letter. Or if your resume is crap, fix your resume. Maybe you need a new one. Maybe you need something that's going to help you with that. Maybe ask someone to help you with that. Whatever it is that's stopping you from getting work, maybe you need to look at that. Maybe you need to go and do a new course so you can get a new different type of job. I don't know. Make a plan. Only you can figure that out. Like, stop looking at the obstacles and, and figure out what it is you need. Stop playing the victim. This is victim mentality, this card. This is someone who has, has financial loss. They're destitute. They're in despair. They have, they're, they're like poverty style. Like, they possibly have ill health because of what they go through. They have, um, they feel lonely. They're rejected a lot of the time. They're possibly hungry. You know, they're going through hardship, they're bankrupt, they have material lack, they're left in the cold. Like, you have all of these things, and that's why you feel like a victim, but at the same time, what are you choosing? Stop looking at the obstacles and try and help yourself. That's all I can say. Like, I know I'm, it's, it's not easy when you're in that situation. I know this. But like when I moved to Melbourne, all I could do was apply for as many jobs as I could, no matter whether they were reception, which I hate, or whether they were admin. I like admin, but I hate reception. I hate talking on the phone. But if, if that's what would get me work, I would do it. If I had to sit there and enter data entry or filing, no one likes filing, let's be real. But at the same time, you do it because it's money and it was going to pay me whatever I needed, any money at that particular point. I would have taken a job for $20 an hour back then because I needed money. Like, you can't have so many, I only want to earn, you know, 100000 a year and nothing less. Like, you take what you can. It's easier to get a job when you've got a job, my dad used to say. Now, you've got the King of Swords in reverse and you've got the Two of Pentacles. Now, it's either going to be lack of communication for a start. Somebody's not got, got healthy communication style. They're defensive, they're aggressive. Um, but also, I feel like it's also about now you're getting some inner truths about yourself. And I also feel like sometimes you've been very manipulating or controlling or cruel, but I feel like you're finally getting some inner clarity and some inner truths about yourself that, you know, maybe you were disorganized. Maybe you need to prioritize this. Stop making excuses for not applying for 20 jobs a day. Stop making an excuse for being destitute and having no money and having to scab things off of other people. I don't know. Whatever it is for you, stop making excuses. You're like, 
be more organized you know stop juggling too many things um you know maybe you're an alcoholic and you're trying to drug and juggle alcoholic being an alcoholic and and uh you know trying to still buy shopping and pay for your rent and do all these other things you know it doesn't work that way you need to make priorities priorities and and maybe your priority is paying your rent so you don't lose your house or you know doing what you need to that's all i'm saying i'm pretty sure you get the the point um i feel like you're one of these people though like as much as you have these down falls i feel like you also are like the king of wands and i feel like you could be a natural born leader you probably are you know you probably originally had some sort of vision for your life and maybe you're not in the place that you thought you would be you know 30 years ago or 10 years ago or five years ago you know and i feel like um some of you maybe have your own business or maybe there's something you can do to have your own business now running your own business is hard maybe at the moment get a job that's going to pay you a definite wage i don't know um but you're confident you're charming you're you know maybe you're decisive i don't know but i feel like you have experience like use what you have that's what i'm saying i'm not saying go flirt with a lady to get a job or flirt with a guy and wear a low cut top to go get a job or whatever i'm saying if you're a confident person and you, you're a charming person and you know you can take responsibility for your own life you can go out and apply you know what i'm saying right let's move on this is a really long reading every time i do libra they're long readings right you've got the 10 of one so things feel like a burden there's feel like there's health problems due to stress you need help reach out and ask other people um at the same time focus on your self-worth and in and the pinnacles once again is in reverse so for me i'm feeling like some it, it can mean that you know upright with is all about focusing on getting money and material comforts and whatever and i feel like you have a lack of that like i've been saying like it's no no surprise really is it yeah you've had no victory and success you know maybe because you had a lack of confidence maybe because your ego was so huge maybe because you could have been many reasons but i feel like it's about divine timing i feel like it's also about you are in control of you as i've been saying this whole time you're in control of you right you choose how you respond you know you need a job because you can't pay your rent you know you don't want to play the victim anymore sort your shit out pretty much you choose how you respond you're in control of you and look three of pinnacles this is about you possibly going i want to work alone i don't want to work with other people you know what stop with the bloody these are what i need you take a job any job whether it's a job 10 minutes down the road or whether it's a job an hour away take a job apply for as many as you can like you know you could be worried about what other people think you could be obsessed with details about oh i don't you know oh i don't want to work an hour down the road i don't want to work 20 minutes away i you know whatever it is sort your shit out like i feel like you're not doing anything to be rewarded is what i'm hearing and whether this whether this is me or whether this is you i don't know currently i feel like it's me being very blunt and whatever but i feel like with the queen like this is you being a self-sufficient person this is you or your person being honest and being independent and being uh having clear boundaries you know um i feel like they're direct with their communication they cut through the bullshit they're smart and clever this person is like maybe me telling you to sort your shit out being very direct or whether it's 3939 maybe google that angel number 3939 but i feel like 
it just, you, you know, you are going to be a very self-sufficient person. And I feel like you will be and you are. So, you know, make it happen is all I'm saying. You got the chariot in reverse. Like, you probably have lack of direction. And as I said, you're going to need self-discipline. You are going to need to sit there and make a plan and stick to it. You know, if you need to apply for 30 jobs a day, do it. See what I'm saying? Like, what are you willing to do to make this happen? Stop playing the victim. Here you are, crying over spilled wine in this case. You know, stop looking at the negatives and focus on the positives. That, you know, there's another 20 ass jobs out there or whatever. You know, maybe you can go do another course. Look at other positives instead of like, poor me, poor me, poor me all the time. Poor me gets very, very draining. And also, you know, like... Everyone's had tough stuff in their lives. Like you just need to kind of stop playing the victim and kind of get on with it. Only you can control you, like I keep saying. Like only you can figure out what it is that you need to do to make things better. Now, I know I didn't really ask about your love life in this situation, but stay, even that, stay optimistic. It doesn't have to be about your love life. It just means stay optimistic. You're not feeling very optimistic. You're not putting out positive thoughts. You've got true love and new love, and they're both in reverse. It's like you possibly – I just feel like you wouldn't know if something is true or – um because maybe it's just not about love right now. You know, like maybe for those of you that have been so obsessed about love, maybe you need to change your perspective, change your focus for a little while. Like I'm not saying get rid of the person, but I'm saying like it's not like you're having to go look for a new person. You've got someone for a lot of you. And if you're not, if you're single, well then make your job or getting a job or your priority or making money your priority right now, setting yourself up. You know, I'm not saying break up with the person, but I'm saying, like, sort out what you need to sort out um, and stop feeling so down about it. Yeah. As I said, I probably shouldn't even have done that deck because it's not even about love. It's more about other things. But maybe for some of you, you know, this isn't true love. I mean, maybe it's not. But maybe you're also not open to new love right now because of what you've been through. And what you need to go through. Make a plan. Okay, so you got clean it up and you've got exchanging gifts. Let me just see what they say. See, I'm already over my 40 minutes, so what difference does it make if I go a bit longer? Gonna have to merge them anyway. Okay, it's the law of giving and receiving, currency, trade-offs, weighing costs and determining value. Now, regarding prosperity, not love, all your hard work and efforts, your commitment to learning, creating and spending your time wisely pay off in ways you may not have been anticipating. The gifts of yourself, your time, your ideas and the energy of your intentions are being reciprocated by the universe, which is sending you signs and signals, aligning synchronistic meetings and opportunities to bring you success and more. Everything is in exchange. Keep doing what you're doing. Goodwill comes back tenfold. It's karma. It's if you're a good person and you help others and you put your time in and, and help others and do things for people, it will come back to you. So if you can help someone, it will come back to you. Like, give it. it's an equal give and take. The universe doesn't just give, 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 give. You might be like that with other people, but the universe doesn't work that way. You need to give to then get. Right, you got 21. Now, this is in reverse. So, is this possible that you're focusing too much on other people trying too hard to be helpful does taking on what belongs to others make you feel needed or desired maybe you think it's your calling to relieve people of their burdens but what is the cost to you and to them don't clean up someone else's side of the street you're not helping by freeing him or her of her responsibility 
you're also not doing yourself any favors and you just might be adding to an even greater strain you are loved as you are you don't need to be needed to be loved now what I'm feeling it's more I don't feel that it's about that intuitively and I'm hearing this in my head the whole time was you need to clean up clean it up in reverse it means you're not cleaning up you right you are the, you're the one that's going through this if this is you or your partner right so if it's your if it's you you need to clean up your act you know what I'm saying like clean up what isn't working for you clean up whether you've got these addictions or whether you've not got money and get a job clean yourself up is what I'm saying what I'm hearing it's like you're not wanting to do that or you're not doing that you're, you're not taking any kind of yeah you're not kind of taking any steps to do that maybe you lied to people before maybe you hurt people before maybe you felt pain before um you have a lack of hope and you also maybe you don't need more skill maybe you don't have enough skill in doing stuff that you're applying for um but maybe you're going to get some inspiration about what you need to do as i said when you write your list you are going to get something if you're a good person as i said it's all about karma And we don't need to do them because it's not about love. It's about... Anyway, that is what I have for you. And this is a long enough reading as it is. 20, it's 46 already, 46 minutes. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, let me know if you get a job. I would love to hear it. If you, you know, sort your stuff out, let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.